I would say about uh, um around like six hundred oh, for every awesome. way. Six hundred bucks for some freaking Pokemon cards? Scott! Mary Padian has gone from being a regular store owner to becoming a household name and it seems like she's never looking back. She's been in the spotlight ever since she first appeared in Storage Wars and her career has been on an upward trajectory ever since. Storage Wars featured treasure hunters from across the country with nothing but an eye for upcycled items and then started the adrenaline pumping conflicts of bidding, selling and buying. Storage Wars remains in the news for its controversies and was even cancelled at one point. But now that it's back on air, fans are wondering what really happened to Mary Padian from Storage Wars. What are we talking here? In this condition, played with, but really good, complete. We're looking at about $750. Wow, yes, go Joe! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mary Padian joined the original Storage Wars spin-off Storage Wars Texas back in 2012, and before that, she was living in a small town in Texas. She inherited a knack for used items from her family, as her father was in the upcycling business too. Her father actually used to melt the scrap metal that was no longer being used and then ship it internationally. Well, he built quite a name in this business. So when the opportunity presented itself, Mary didn't shy away from continuing her father's legacy. She didn't exactly replicate her father's business, but took the idea of upcycling and made it into something that was more to her interest. When she grew up, she decided to build her career around the thrifting industry. And thrifting is all the hype these days, but back then, buying thrifted items wasn't that big of a fashion statement. Despite these cultural shocks, she opened a small shop and started selling thrifted or secondhand goods. She became so good at her business that there was a point where she used to buy secondhand furniture, upcycle it, and then sell it to interior designers for big bucks. It was proving to be a very viable business for Mary, but she didn't know what awaited her. One of her clients actually loved her work and he worked with producers of Storage Wars Texas. So as soon as she came under the radar of the producers, they called her for the shoot and this was the beginning of her reality TV empire. Mary went on to star in about 62 episodes on the show and she became the highlight of season 2 and 3. Her presence on the show made it all the more exciting and she was even named the Junker because of her ability to make even trash look appealing. She became a regular on the show and everyone was loving the fun elements she brought to the show. Besides, her arguments and conflicts were definitely worth watching and that's why she became one of the biggest stars of the show in such a short time. Mary's career took a very tragic detour when the news became public that Storage Wars Texas will no longer be aired. It was cancelled in 2014 and fans couldn't believe that they wouldn't be seeing the Junker on their screens anymore. It came as quite a shock to Mary as well and some people started speculating that the show was cancelled solely because it resembled the original Storage Wars a little too much and fans were getting bored of seeing repetitive stuff. But the actual reason for the show being cancelled was never revealed. And if you're wondering that this was the end of her career, then no. Mary already was a big name in the upcycling industry and the producers weren't ready to let her popularity go in vain. Besides, the fans were so fond of Mary, they started petitioning for her to be in the original Storage Wars. So they decided to take her to the mothership. Well, this was a huge change for Mary because it meant that she would have to leave everything in Texas and move to California. What the producers offered her was a massive opportunity and although she had to take a few tough decisions, she knew that it would be all worth it in the end. And this way, Mary made her way to the Storage Wars and moved to California. She made her debut in the original show in the same charismatic way and vowed all the audiences. It was a bigger show with so many people watching it that Mary quickly became an icon, but this success wasn't going to last long. Just when Mary Padian settled in the Storage Wars, a huge controversy broke out when Hester, a regular cast member on the show, had to leave. And the way he left got really ugly. He accused the show of fraud and said the producers allegedly staged most of the things happening on Storage Wars from the storage units to the customers. It completely wrecked the reputation that Storage Wars held for several years and what was even more tragic was that the producers had to stop any future seasons for a while so the smoke could settle in. 
Up until 2021, there was no news from the show creators, and they didn't even talk about when they'll be coming back for the new season. Amid all this controversy, Mary actually found herself without a TV gig because of the cancellation. But apparently, this wasn't the end of her career either, because she rose from the ashes like a phoenix yet again. After not having the shows that made her so famous and contributed to most of her net worth, Mary decided to go back to her roots and do something she always wanted to do, thrifting. She decided to focus on the business that she used to do back in Texas, but this time, she did it in a rather modern way. Instead of only being limited to a physical store, Mary decided to turn it into an online business and named it Mary's Find. And before she knew it, her followers on Instagram started purchasing items from her and everything started going out of stock within minutes. It was just another proof of how much people loved Mary. And as a result, she decided to stay true to her thrift shop and focus solely on upcycled items. Besides, it was the best bet for her at success because it didn't seem like Storage Wars was coming back anytime soon and the controversies just kept getting worse. Mary also continued to update us about her daily life on Instagram and over the years, we saw her thrifting brand become the next big thing in the industry, but then something happened that no one really expected. It was the reprising of Storage Wars and fans really thought that they wouldn't be seeing the show because of all the legal proceedings and controversies, but it made it onto our screens. However, there was a small catch. Mary was nowhere to be seen on the show and she was one of the regular pickers. The fans got really worried if something has happened to her or she's in a rut with the producers, much like Hester. Everyone was waiting on the news that tells them the reason why Mary Padian left the show that got her so famous and made it her household name. But she didn't say much about it and continued to use the hashtag Storage Wars on her stories and posts. It was confusing for a lot of fans because it meant that she still was a part of the show, but then why was she not a regular picker? Well, as it turns out, Mary decided to give more time to her own brand and she made it her first priority. And because of her booming business, she couldn't give more time to the shoots of Storage Wars and hence she's not a part of the main cast. However, it was recently revealed that her name is still on the guest list of the show. It means that we should expect a couple of cameos from Mary in the upcoming seasons, but she might not be coming back at a full-time lead on the show because of her brand. And as of now, Mary is focusing solely on Mary's picks and has made quite a fortune from it. Although she has a little over 9,000 followers on the official page of her business, the followers on her own Instagram are more than 300,000. So her business gets quite an exposure. And when she's not focusing on her business, Mary does charity. Recently, she helped a lot of Kenyan women earn a living for themselves by teaming up with a non-profit organization. She also makes videos on her Instagram about upcycling used material and often teaches her followers where they could find treasure pieces that are affordable and yet go perfectly with the modern aesthetic. So it seems like Mary is doing pretty good for herself and although she's no longer a part of the storage wars, she continues to follow her passion and that's all that counts. Besides, she's also helping people to better understand upcycling. Not only that, she's further normalizing thrifting and there's no reason why something similar to Storage Wars won't be offered to her. In fact, the fans are hoping to see her in the future seasons of the popular show and for now, we can only cross our fingers and hope for the best.